to my channel so today I'm gonna to be showing you how to achieve this yellow cut crease and I wanted to play with color and of course a cut crease because I was really inspired by all of these makeup tutorials that I've been seeing with color and of course Patrick Starr and Desi Perkins yellow cut crease made me really want to try it out as well so yeah if you guys want to see how I achieved this look go ahead and keep on watching and now I'm gonna take my Too Faced Sweet Peach palette and I'm going to be taking Summer Yum and Puree and using my Morphe M218 brush I'm just going to go ahead and take that into my crease and if you do not have a crease like me or a nice crease I should say um, you definitely want to put it up higher because as you can see my crease lid is right here and I hate that so I like to take it where my bone structure is, where the crease bone structure is, and then just apply the eyeshadow right there for the cut crease then. And now that we have blended that into our crease, we're going to go ahead and create the cut right here. And you want to start off, and I'm going to be using concealer like I said, but you want to start off small and then make it bigger. Going around these walls. And then for the lid, I'm going to be taking my Anastasia Artist Palette and I'm going to be using this yellow right here, which is fresh, I think that's how you say it, and buttery. So I'm going to be taking buttery on the lid um, a little bit more than fresh so that I can have a base to make the yellow brighter. And the eyeliner I'm going to be using today is the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. And I love this one because it has this perfect felt tip that I can really get that sharp wing. Now for my mascara, I'm going to be using the Lorac Pro Mascara. Okay, so for my false lashes today, I'm going to be using these gorgeous ones. They're very long and dramatic, and I don't really know the name of them, but I'll leave a link down below so that you can click the link and get them for yourself. I'm going to be using the EX1 Invisiwear Foundation in the shade F300. I have been really loving this foundation because it's very, I feel like it's very lightweight and it's a medium to full coverage and it's perfect for my skin tone. This foundation was specifically made for olive tone skins, so yeah, I love this foundation and it's really good for oily skin. I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eye because I do not want it to crease and I'm gonna be baking of course because who cakes and not bake? And now I'm just gonna go ahead and bronze up my face. Also, do you guys like challenge videos? Because I think they're really fun to make. They're very fun and I enjoy watching them. I love the um, faux face kids makeup. I love the highlighter challenge, the liquid lipstick. Like I would never do that because, woo girl, you gotta know how to blend that. Yeah, and I love 
all these like trending challenges super fun and super like cool to see the end result and all that so yeah let me know if you guys are interested in that because i i'm thinking about doing more of those I'm gonna be taking my Carly Bible palette for my highlighter and I'm gonna be using the second shade which is like a very beautiful golden shade and oh my god guys this gives me such like a healthy beautiful shine we'll go. that's the completed look i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please like and subscribe to my channel and leave a comment down below letting me know what you guys would like to see next and yeah i hope you guys have a wonderful day and i'll see you guys next time bye